I want to create a short video on MCP, Model Context Protocol. I did a quick little bit of hacking together of some things and I just want to show you what that looks like. So MCP came out from Anthropic back in November. It is an interesting idea, a common protocol, if you will, that allows you to extend any programming language's capabilities as LLM tools. So you have to know something about large language models and the ability for them to call tools or functions, and now you can make those tools in your programming language. So here's a little diagram I found on the internet. You can see that there's a client or a host, as it's referred to here, an MCP host, and that could be like the Claude desktop, an IDE, or I'll show you a little command line tool written in Python that I found out there, and we'll get to that in a second. And there's this concept of a server. Now, if you come from a JDBC or ODBC background, this would be a driver. Or if you come from another type of background, maybe a, a camel background, this would be a connector. But the whole point of it is that you can kind of plug in these little servers, and these little servers provide you access to the thing that you're interested in. And I'll show you some examples of that. It might be a database, it might be another REST endpoint, it might be just another piece of business logic. So that's an important element right there. Uh, I like this person's comparison of how it's ODBC for AI. So, you know, if you remember Open Database Connectivity or JDBC, Java database, database Connectivity. So again, that's why I also think of as a driver. There's a lot of servers that are already out there that'll connect you to different databases or maybe a, a third party software as a service. And, and that's already super interesting. So you might just simply go out there and find an existing one that you might want. But in my case, I'm interested in building a custom one. So what has happened, is when the uh, MCP was born, they did provide a quick start of how to build servers, these plugins, these drivers, these connectors, right, that you could then load into the Claude desktop. And I'll show you an example of that. And just today, uh, Max also uh, published a blog that talks about how to build MCP servers in Quarkus. So as a Java person, I just dove right in on that. And I took advantage of this thing called the MCP CLI. You can see it's here in Chris's uh, uh, GitHub repo and he has a great YouTube video on it. I don't know if he has the YouTube video listed here, but there's definitely a great YouTube video where he describes how this tool works uh, and I encourage you to go check that out. Now in my case, I simply want to get in here now and try some things, okay? So let's go here and I'm going to open up the uh, MC, MCP CLI first. Let's look at that real quickly. And you can see it's a Python-based application. It has its own tool, its own MCP server built in, but it's a client-side CLI tool that allows you to interact with different MCP servers. So you can register your MCP servers here with this little bit of JSON. You can see I called it Burr Hello. It's going to use the JBang command line tool that I installed via Brew. And you can see there's basic arguments. It's going to load this Java class from, uh, from this place in my M2 repository, right? So off my, my local machine. So it's just gonna run a bit of Java code. Let's go look at the Java code. I have this over here. It is a little hello world because I like doing things to see what the most simple thing is. And, and you can see that I have a tool description. Burr says hello, greetings from Burr. I wanna have a, a tool argument, this to whom, like who am I saying hello to? And then I have aloha, bonjour, hola, jumbo, hey, and allo. Okay, so depending on what language you come from, I probably missed one that you guys are interested in, but you know, it just says hello. And the little, um, uh, the little code there for the smiley face, right? A little emoticon. And then I have a thank you, a, 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 a thank you as well. So hello and thank you. And actually, let's do this real quick. Uh, why not have some fun with this? Do it on the fly because, you know, you're only having fun if you're doing things on the fly. Burr says hello. We're going to say, let's call this thing Burr goodbye. Okay, Burr says goodbye. Uh, dun, dun, dun. And we don't want greetings in this case we're going to just say goodbye okay and it's still aloha and or why okay what well, i don't i'm not going to have time to spell all these things correctly let's just do this we're just aloha is hello and goodbye in hawaiian all right so we, we added a goodbye uh tool now so the whole point of this is these tools can access any business logic you know you just have to basically expose that api correctly and let me hit save here i'm going to go over here and hit maybe install if i do this correctly It'll build that application, put it in my M2 repository as a new jar file, and let's go over here now and run this CLI. So here I'm using uh, UV Run MCP CLI server. That's the Burr Hello that maps to the um, uh, that maps to this thing right here, the server config JSON. So there's the Burr Hello. That's the server I want to load. Okay, and then a provider, this is the, you could use Olama. I'm not using Olama right now, I'm using OpenAI, and then what model you wanna use. So with Olama, you can pick your own model. Uh, it does work with Olama, though it is a little more hit or miss because uh, obviously the Olama models aren't as robust as 
let's say open a open AI is in this case all right so the first thing you do is you can bring this up you hit ping here it sees that a server is up and running you can say list to you can say help okay this is that's what I love about Chris's tool here it's pretty amazing and I can say list tools and it says look at that burr goodbye burr hello and burr thank you so that new goodbye endpoint that I just uh, added that new tool is already available so I can say uh, say hello to Fred okay oh, oh I gotta go first go into chat mode so say hello to Fred okay if this works out correctly it's going to, of course, send it up to the large language model, in this case, OpenAI, and it's going to basically figure out that I need a tool. I have a tool who can execute for that, and there it says, Aloha, Bonjour, Hola, Jumbo, Hey, and Alo, Fred, all right? So you can, and there's a little emoticon, and I can say, well, say goodbye uh, to Fred as well. Let's see if it figures it out. There it goes, Aloha, Fred, fantastic, and um, say thanks to uh, uh, uh uh, Dan, how about that? We'll go with Dan here. And again, there's the thank you. So mahalo, merci, gracias, asante. All right, so that we have just that hello world example kind of shows you can integrate now into the MCP CLI, which is just a Python based application, that, a Python client application that you can now talk to these MCP servers. So that's pretty cool already. You can bridge the worlds of programming languages. And the Java developer doesn't have to mess around with large language models per se. Right, they just have to write Java code, and by the way, it works either way. Right, if you want to put, you know, uh, Java as an MCP client, and the um, Python as MCP server, or JavaScript, etc., it doesn't really matter. But this is just a quirkiest way for declaring that tool. So that's pretty powerful all by itself, and you can do a more advanced tool, uh, like if we have one here for weather. Okay, this is actually in uh, Max's blog post, and let me get this window in the right location here. So, you know, this is actually, weather was part of the, um, uh, if you go look at the server quick start for MCP, weather was when they showed you how to build. So this is just done, uh, in that case it was Python code, and this was done in Java code here. So it's basically where the server, MCP server, is connecting to yet another remote endpoint out across the internet, this one going out to a API weather.gov. Okay, so it's just a, a proxy layer, if you will, to connect out there. And let's go do this now. So we showed you that we connect Python to Java via MCP. Let's now go try the cloud desktop, okay? So the cloud desktop, which is what it looks like by default, you'll notice there's a little 10 MCP tools available here. It also has a config file, and let's go look at it real quick, right over here and over here. And you can see there's three MCP servers that are registered here, right? There's one for SQLite, and this is one that you can get from uh, Anthropic directly. It's just MCP server SQLite, and it gives you direct access to a SQLite database on your local machine. So therefore, English to SQL kind of capability. This one, of course, uh, is the JBang or Java-based one for weather, and then here's the hello one that I was doing, uh, you saw earlier. So three different MCP servers now registered here, and that all shows up. You have to restart your cloud desktop, which I already have, uh, to get those registered. And then you'll notice that it says 10 right here. You can click there, and you can see them listed. So that's like the list tools feature I showed you earlier. Uh, you can also go to, let's see, settings. And under settings, you go to developer, and you can see there's the burr hello right there. And it says running, and there's this weather and there's SQLite. So there's more information about uh, those tools listed here, right? So it's MCP servers as tools. But now the model has access to it. So I can say, say hello to uh, Dax. My sister's name is Dax. Let's give that a try. Let's see if Anthropic will make it work. And in the case of the cloud desktop, it says, do you allow for this? And I will allow for it. So it doesn't execute the code arbitrarily. That could be a security concern. It first lets the user know, hey, we found some local code that maps to this you know, command, and we're going to execute it. And you can see there it is. Aloha, burr, uh, alo aloha bonjour, hola, jumbo, hey, hello, Dax. Hello, Dax, OK? Uh, say goodbye. To Fred. I don't know why I use the name Fred a lot, just an easy way to do it. But let's see here. And oh, it did not figure out the goodbye one. Uh, did not, okay. But it suggests I can thank Fred. Uh, please thank Fred. Let's try that. Uh, let's see if that correctly. There we go. Allow for this chat. And it does say thank you. Oh, and we got an error code. So an error there. 
Uh, I wonder why. Mm, but the function, sometimes this happens with function calls. Would you like to try? Uh, please try again. I'm curious now because I haven't seen it give me an error, this particular error before. And it's trying, but it's is it going to work? It's not going to work. We're, uh, we've got an MCP error. That's interesting, interesting. So the thank you one, the, the must mean that the actual syntax of the function call is not exactly right. Okay? Uh, so we, we will have to go back and look at that one. But let's try this one. What is the weather in Orlando? All right, because we also have a weather endpoint. And let's try that. Let's see if it gets this tool correctly, that MCP server, and allow for this chat. And it's got it has to first figure out the Latin long. That's what the API needs, and and it does give me the local weather. Look at that. Okay, Latin long, and there's the temperature and some other information about the weather there. Okay, and let's also try the um, uh, get me the top uh, ten products from the database from the let's just make it a little bit more explicit SQL light database. Let's see if that'll work. Uh, give me the top 10 products and yep we're going to basically allow for this chat let's see if it connects and allow and it's first basically making sure that it understands the product so it's understanding the schema then it has to build the right select statement and there it is it's grabbing the three things that I have in the database there uh, which is widget gadget and gizmo oh I think I only have three in my little database locally that's part of the issue here uh, that database is just sitting out here is test.db Okay, so uh, so yeah, I only have ten, I only have three records in there right now. Uh, so, but you can see that you can do some pretty interesting things with it. I'll figure out why the the goodbye one, the thank you one, failed. Might be an error on my part. It might be another thing. I'll have to go look in that because it worked. I have learned that some things will work with the MCP CL, uh, CLI that don't work with Cloud Desktop, uh, but that just requires a little tuning and configuration in most cases. In other words, just a setup kind of problem that might be an issue there. But that is my little MCP in a nutshell. You can basically connect A to B to C, and that is kind of the point, right? So the concept of these servers, they're like these little plugins, these little drivers, these little connectors, and then you can have it represent a database, you can have it represent another REST endpoint or something of that nature, and then you have that client-side tool like you saw there with the MCP CLI or Cloud Desktop interacting with it. So that is my little introduction to MCP and specifically MCP servers.